you might not know this, but the French are some of the most fairs, carnivals and theme parks obsessed people on the planet. And they sure like to have some fun and adrenaline packed thrill rides. If it was not for the translation headache, we'd actually be making a lot of videos about amusement park incidents in France. But who knows? Maybe we'll do that in the future. Some of the most recent and serious incidents to take place at a fun fair in France happens on Saturday, February 4th, 2023, around 4pm, when a young woman fell to her death after getting ejected out of a seat on a high-speed thrill ride known as the Maximum Booster at the Clermont-Ferrand Carnival. The victim was a 22-year-old university student, but what was most disturbing about her death is that she knew that something was wrong and that she was about to get ejected from her seat from a height of nearly 65 feet. Just as the ride took off, she was screaming as loud as she could for help for more than 30 seconds before the disaster. Tiffany was simply not secure in her seat, right? And as the ride gained speed, it became clear to her that she was about to be ejected from her seat. She was terrified and screamed in fear, hoping the operator would stop the ride. Sadly, the operator did not hear her, nor stop the ride until her body fell on top of his booth. The operator fled the scene for unclear reasons, which raised some suspicions that he knew something was wrong before the incident. Nevertheless, the investigation results are not out yet, but according to some of the victim's friends, she should have been allowed to take the ride in the first place because she exceeded the maximum weight allowed. Tiffany was at the carnival with her mother, sister and boyfriend when she decided to take the infamous and daring maximum booster ride. According to the French Public Prosecution Service, which is investigating the accident, there are indications that the accidents can be attributed to a human factor. According to hospital reports, Tiffany died upon impact. So far, investigators are hinting that the seatbelt was defective and the bar that prevents occupants from falling out of the gondola was not properly secured. They are also still looking for the ride operator who fled the scene. A second person was present in the booth at the time of the incident. Some say that he's the ride's owner and was actually injured after the booth's roof collapsed from the impact of Tiffany's body after the long and hard fall. He was also charged with manslaughter. Another serious incident took place at a carnival in France just recently in Saint-Pierre. This time, an 11-year-old child was seriously injured. On Friday, March 10th, 2023, around 9pm, an 11-year-old child's leg was crushed while an america round at the famous Festi Park Carnival in the Ravine Blanche district in Saint-Pierre, France. The child was with his family and having a great time when everything went wrong while he was riding the popular attraction known as the Shaker Dance. His injuries were severe and horrific. Many onlookers had to be treated for shock after the incident. It's not clear what exactly happened as the investigation is still ongoing. However, since the attraction which the child was on features two-person inverting cars that rotate at speed, he may have accidentally dangled his leg outside of his cart, which resulted in it being completely crushed. After the incident, the child's father was literally carrying his injured boy and running to seek help. Witnesses said that the boy's leg was completely crushed and bones were sticking out. Authorities immediately shut down the carousel ride and began investigating. The rest of the fair remained open. So far, the authorities have not released their investigation results and it is not clear if the boy's leg will ever be normal again. Let's now take a look at the recent crazy incident that involves an insane ride located in a one-of-a-kind, never-ending fair. Yes, Florida is different, and its state fair is also different, because it never shuts down and closes only when there's bad weather. All year round, the rides, stalls, and shops at the Florida State Fair are bustling. Every day there's something different and unique taking place because this massive fair 
is up for rent for all sorts of trade shows, expos, educational programs, concerts, family-oriented activities, competitions, you name it. It's a three-in-one sort of deal, where you get a trade fair inside a carnival, inside a massive theme park. And every few days, there's something different and new, so it's never the same old thing. One of the main attractions at this awesome and one-of-a-kind fair is the Enterprise Ride, which is named after USS Enterprise from the TV series Star Trek. The backdrop is decorated with space-themed art and a silhouette of the Starship Enterprise. In this ride, two people sit in one of the 20 gondolas attached in a circle, one in front of the other. The ride moves clockwise, dispelling a slight amount of centrifugal force. A hydraulically powered arm underneath the ride then raises and tilts the frame so that the ride is rotating at 87 degrees from the horizontal, transforming the ride from a horizontal experience to a nearly vertical one. On February 17th, 2023, the Enterprise at the Florida State Fair almost caused an incident that could have totally gone dark and resulted in horrors. But fortunately, a mega disaster was averted and it resulted in mere bruises. The ride's safety mechanism malfunctioned due to windy conditions and began to swing right and left. Terrified riders were left upside down while holding on to nothing because, believe it or not, the ride doesn't have seatbelts. Some of the gaps, or rather openings in each of the ride's gondolas, are actually big enough for someone to slip through them. It was a miracle that no one didn't come crashing down from tens of feet high. Some people, including children, were left with bruises, but luckily no one was seriously injured while stuck for more than 30 minutes after one hell of a rocky ride. Inspections were performed, but it wasn't clear if the malfunction was caused by a gust of wind or something else. A few days later, another incident occurred at the Florida State Fair, but this time, a woman called Eve Brock received injuries to her ankles after the spin-out ride. Brock was seated next to her boyfriend's six-year-old daughter and had to wait for 20 minutes to get off the ride, spraining both ankles. Fortunately, no one else was injured. Have you been to any of these fairs or other carnivals recently? What do you think about thrilling rides in such places, especially the dangerous and thrilling ones? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video that will take you to the heart of the scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters, and paranormal events from around the world.